what is going on traders welcome back to another video i hope you guys are having a wonderful day i've been getting a lot of messages from friends i'm about to quit crypto i'm about to quit stock market i mean that could be possible you can do that why did you start it to begin with if you start something for no reason then it's going to be very hard of course to handle markets like this this is crazy especially for someone who is new to stock market or crypto market it could be extremely volatile place with your emotion times like this is where you have to make value-based decisions not emotional based decisions but anyways today we are going to be talking about very interesting topic in the crypto market we're going to do a quick technical analysis for ethereum classic of course i can update you on other cryptos as well or some stocks in the meantime i'm sure you guys are going to enjoy this video with that let's get started <music> welcome everyone thank you for being here if you are here for the first time please do not forget to smash that like button and subscribe to this channel i highly appreciate it by the way i'm not a financial advice when i am doing this technical analysis or any type of videos i'm not trying to give you any type of financial advice i know in my background i work as a business analyst i do that in my professional life but these videos are only for entertainment purposes please do your own profound research so today has been such an interesting day if you own stocks or cryptos it doesn't matter you have been crashed when interest rate rises or inflation rises that is where cryptocurrency is supposed to rise everything was good but elon musk unfortunately have too much power to say this and crash the entire crypto market tesla has suspended vehicle purchases using bitcoin we are concerned about rapidly increasing use of fossil fuel for Bitcoin mining and transactions, especially coal, which has the worst emission of any fuel. Cryptocurrency is a good idea on many levels and we believe it has promising future, but this cannot come at a great cost to the environment. Tesla will not be selling any Bitcoin and we intend to use it for transaction as soon as mining transitions to more sustainable energy. We are also looking at other cryptos that use less than 1% of Bitcoin's energy transaction. So, one to it like this, the entire crypto market has crumbled. Check out Bitcoin, guys. Right now, it is at $49,000. At some point, it dropped to $47,000. Check out Ethereum, guys. At some point, it dropped to $3,600. Right now, it is kind of recovering, but still drop to three thousand six hundred dollars and of course there is dodge coin the meme coin this has been dropping in the past few days but at some point it reached 34 cents and our favorite ethereum classic dropped to 78 dollars i have seen the price of ethereum classic around 72 dollars i couldn't be able to get a chance to buy it but i bought few at 78 dollars if it keeps dropping down i'm gonna average down and we'll see where it is hitting. I'm not going to be selling anything because of what happened. So there are a couple of things I want to highlight here. The first thing is, it says that less than 1% of Bitcoin's energy transaction. Which cryptocurrencies have less than 1% of Bitcoin's energy transaction? A single Bitcoin transaction uses roughly 707 kilowatt hours of electrical energy, equivalent to the power consumed by an average US household over 24 days. On a yearly basis, Bitcoin consumes more energy than all but 38 countries falling in line with countries like Finland, China, Austria. This is massive. So Bitcoin uses 707 kilowatt. So what is 1% of 707 kilowatt? Roughly, if you do the math, it should be around 7 kilowatt. So let's check out some other cryptos below 7 kilowatt. The most environmentally friendly cryptocurrencies. XRP kilowatt 0 0.079 kilowatt this is too small i really like that dodge coin guys uses 0 0.12 kilowatt cardano uses 0 0.54 kilowatt in bitcoin at 707 kilowatt this is just a pure speculation i'm not saying this could happen but when you connect the dots it seems like tesla could potentially accept dodge coin as a payment very interesting he has been saying it for quite some time now do you want Tesla to accept Dodge? 78.2% replied yes, 21% replied no. So this is interesting. Why would someone who's extremely powerful 
pretty much the second richest man in the world keeps talking about Dogecoin. Every opportunity that he got. This is not the first time he's been talking about it. He talked about Dogecoin for a very long time. I'm sure you remember it would be the most entertaining and ironic outcome if Dodge becomes the currency of Earth in the future. He kept saying that I might be wrong, I might be right. But why would the most successful entrepreneur waste his time again and again by pointing out this breadcrumbs? I can actually show you the video to kind of remember what he said. But it should be considered speculation at this point. Um, and so, you know, don't don't go too far on the crypto speculation part. The, the, the point is that Dogecoin was invented as a joke, as essentially to make fun of cryptocurrency. Um, and that's why uh, I, th th I think there's like an argument like fate loves irony, like the most entertaining outcome is the most, like what would be the most ironic outcome? That the, 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 the currency that was invented as a joke, in fact becomes the real currency. Right, oh, wow. no, absolutely, so, to the moon. To the moon. Uh. The other thing that I want to highlight here is, we are concerned about rapidly increasing use of fossil fuel for Bitcoin mining and transactions. Especially coal was the worst emission of any fuel. That is true, but as an electric company, the solution is right there. You can pretty much use green energy and mine Bitcoin. I think most of the Bitcoin these days are mined by using green energy. But this will create a big war between Tesla lovers and the cryptocurrency society. There is a massive followers of Tesla and massive supporters of cryptocurrency. I own a lot of shares of Tesla and today I got hammered like crazy. And at the same time, 30% of my asset is in crypto. That also got hammered. I understand the pain. But tomorrow is going to be another day when people have a better understanding and perspective about all these things. We just have to hold tight. So I want to show you this. Someone tweeted this right below. Elon Musk's tweet. Lowly has officially suspended buying Tesla. We are deeply concerned about the CEO's inability to understand that Bitcoin is largely mined with renewable energy 75%. This is what I'm saying. It is heavily mined with green energy in this case. Actually, more business for Tesla. Think about it. Tesla is a good idea on many levels and we believe it has a promising future, but this cannot come at the cost of the future of decentralized financial system. Loli will not be giving Bitcoin back on any Tesla or be buying Teslas. We will be looking for companies that support the inevitable Bitcoin standard. So we're going to see what will happen in the upcoming week. I'm really excited to get an opportunity to collect more cryptocurrencies, some more Dodge, some more Ethereum Classic, Ethereum, Bitcoin. I'll be happy to have all this better buying opportunity. I believe will help us create massive wealth in the upcoming years. So now let's do a very quick technical analysis on Ethereum Classic. At some point, this was trading at $78, even at $72, if I'm not mistaken. But unfortunately, it kind of broke outside of this falling wage pattern. I tried to break outside of it previously, but it went back again and did the same thing, went back again. But compared to other cryptos, this actually got back really quick. From $78, it went back to $95 at some point. Right now, it is trading actually at $92. Very interesting. Especially if it gets back within this wage and broke outside of it, start to create higher highs and higher lows. That would be amazing. But we have to get some confirmations first. The first one is, of course, start to trade above $113, $111. That would be the first confirmation that this actually broke outside of the falling wage and start to create higher high and higher lows. The reason I'm not counting this is because this is not only for Ethereum Classic. Actually, it happened across the entire crypto market. But honestly speaking, this is holding pretty good. Sometimes it could be an overreaction, but we can only see that in the upcoming weeks. So keep that in mind. With the crypto market booming, I believe this has a great future. If it continues to create lower lows and lower highs, most likely this is going to drop back to $40 to $50. That is a possibility. First and foremost, like I keep saying that on my previous video, please get a confirmation before making any type of moves, invest at your own risk, do your own profound research, and invest money that you are willing to lose. Let's quickly check out what Dogecoin is doing. To be honest with you, I added a few more Dogecoin today because I felt like there might be some good news coming up. Again, that could be a pure speculation, but based on what Elon Musk has been saying the past few months, there might be some exciting news waiting for any Dogecoin owners, but I cannot wait to see what the future holds for us. 
but overall Dutch coin is kind of recovering pretty fast it dropped all the way to 36 cents and now it is at 43 cents even at some point it was at 45 cents so that is good maybe Dutch coin has a lot more room for consolidation before we see any type of spike creating higher highs and higher lows because if you see the chart the one year chart it is kind of retracing back to some of the support area so this will be expected maybe you might see another rally in the upcoming days but one thing you have to keep in mind is all this hoax all this news in the air has to first evaporate before we see any type of crazy movement in this crypto market but one thing that i know when inflation rises there is higher chance that Bitcoin and Ethereum and all these cryptocurrencies rising in price because the price of gold, the price of silver is rising and the dollar value is decreasing. And the price of dollars decreasing and has to increase in value because they are asset classes, right? Something to keep in mind. But anyways, let's quickly check out on our Litecoin. We did a quick technical analysis, but surprisingly, this is actually holding pretty strong. It hasn't dropped that much compared to the other cryptos it actually dropped to almost $300 at some point and kind of recover back we know that this is going within the channel it was actually setting up for a very explosive move but unfortunately this happened so I will be watching it I'm not going to be purchasing any more light coins until I got a confirmation that this is creating higher highs and higher lows check out Bitcoin it is consistently dropping if Bitcoin drops anywhere below $43,000 and that is where I'm going to be excited to start buying a little bit of Bitcoin or we might even get an opportunity to buy it around $30,000 because that is the main support area for Bitcoin and I'm sure if you guys can see this chart at some point it was a channel but lately if you really pay attention to this this is changing into a distribution pattern distribution is more of a bearish pattern either it creates another channel right below here or slowly drops down to $42,000 it can even possibly drop to $35,000 to $30,000 we don't know but one possibility but on the other hand Ethereum is beautifully growing man especially in the past few months it has been consistently creating higher highs and higher lows and now transitioning into Ethereum 2.0 this might be a very good investment but again do your own profound research I will be excited to buy Ethereum if it drops under two thousand dollars when i say this i know a lot of people are gonna be mad because i say that but honestly speaking there could be a possibility if you see from five hundred dollars to two thousand dollars it was actually growing in a very consistent but slower pace but once it touched two thousand dollars there were a lot of hype around it and start to shoot to the moon but we will see where ethereum is heading i'll be watching it every single day and last but not the least nasdaq this has been one of the craziest move in the past few days especially it has been consistently dropping if you invested in growth stocks i'm sure you guys can feel the pain every single day i know that feels really bad but this is a great buying opportunity i'm sure you guys remember what happened back in september it is actually having exactly the same pattern check it out closely especially if we kind of recover and start to create higher highs and higher lows then we literally duplicated the same exact pattern so you remember back in september for nasdaq to recover from where it has dropped which means at that time all time high was around twelve thousand. it did have a double top and start to drop exactly what we are seeing right here but after that it took quite some time to fully recover the drop start around september and fully recovered around december here the drop start around february so my expectation for this to fully recover is going to be around maybe july august that is where i am seeing one thing i believe in patterns tend to repeat themselves but anyways keep it on your watch list this is what i have for you guys thank you for watching my video please let me know what you think about it in the comment section below i would love to go over it if you haven't subscribed do not forget to smash that like button and subscribe to this channel with that, I'll see you on my next video. Thank you.